number lines. These all represent three. They stand for the number, an idea about an amount. We can also show how numbers relate to each other. And one way to do this is a number line. It's like a map of numbers. The same idea is on a ruler, numbers in order. This doesn't have a zero, but it would go right there. And it goes from small to big. Or a thermometer. This shows numbers above and below zero. We'll stick to the ones above zero for now. Now in mathematical number lines, the arrows at both ends show that no numbers can go on forever. They're ideas, up or down, forwards or backwards. A number line has a starting point called the origin, zero, and since number lines can go on forever, forwards and backwards, it could be anywhere. I'm going to put it here so we can focus on the numbers greater than zero. Now here's an important idea for math and numbers. The difference or distance between one number and the next has to be consistent. An inch has to be an inch. So the distance between zero and one is the same as the distance between nine and ten. And if we're measuring with the same units, cups, miles, dollars, it has to be the same distance between 9,999 and 10,000, as this number line shows. Now, to get past the arrow back to the origin on this, we would have to count backwards for a long way. We can make our units any size. This number line just has 0 and 1. Where would the 2 go? Where would the 2 not go? Here? Not the right place. This is more like where that two should go. That's more like it. And we can start from anywhere. The origin would be back here somewhere. Can you figure out which numbers are missing in this number line? We can fill them in counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Number lines take some thinking. The next lesson will have a little bit of algebra in it.